Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mashita Inuma-kun. We are almost done with the studying part. No one likes this part. It's, it's necessary because, again, it's a school setting. But the way that Inuma-kun is doing, covering these, like, you know, studying sessions, I think it's nice. Also, we got the introduction of Balam and other stuff. And we're getting more, like, it's important for the misfits to also get more seen and bond with Azaz, Clara, and Iruma. Because right now, in the first season, it felt like it was just a trio. And then the misfits were kind of just in the background. But now, with the introduction of the royal one, and it seems like the misfits also has to rise up with Iruma, right? It's good to have these, like, downtime moments to really establish the relationship between us. They're just casual vibes, and we're almost there. We're almost there. I'm not sure what the next arc is going to be, but hopefully it starts with this episode. Let's begin today's episode. That no one failed because I wanted to fail you. No, 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 Caligo's gonna be like... Zero. Zero. That's why you're disappointed. What do you mean? Why are you upset your students are thriving, Caligo? Come on, that's so backwards. And it's funny that he is like the... Didn't he write the manual for instructors and he's supposed to be like second in command after Sullivan for instructors? <laughs> like, this is the pinnacle of what an instructor should be <laughs> to hope for your students to fail okay yes sir which three? Oh, rank up they got the best marks oh no 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 oh finally they got to rank two damn they're really low in rankings though i mean shax has like no interest Ooh. obviously he's the strongest i mean the smartest one yeah, even stronger than Azaz. Kuri rises to the top. <laughs> and Iruma passed. That's right. He passed. Clara passed, but Clara's smarter than us, technically, which is sad. Power to change those around you. Influencing a group. You are a leader. Iruma, that's not just applying to studying. You know, this is... In plan for the future of the Demon King. The trade of a king. Exactly what Azaz is saying. What do we get? What's like an overall number we got? Are we ranking up? He's, he obviously improved the most because... Because like, think about it. If you're like dead last, of course you're going to improve the most. <laughs> Bottom. Oh, he wants to report to Bottom. Hey, nice to meet you. There you are. Speaking of the devil. Oh, you got a haircut! Oh, this looks so different. It's clean, I like it. Yeah, it's him. What do you mean? This haircut's fresh! Kinda looks like mine. <laughs> Aww, Baram is so nice. But it's so cute, look at it! Correct, enjoy the flames! Oh, true, the fact that we even knew what this was. That's knowledge. It's only been one episode of reading Pictionary books, but we've grown. Yeah, true. Damn! Iruma influenced Balam too! Mm, what's up? Yeah, how does it look? It looks pretty good, come on, man! Whole body to hold this laugh. That's crazy to see Kaligo laugh or even smile for their friends, but you never get to see the side of him. Uh -huh. What rank is what number is that? The gargoyle. Eight. Hey, that's one below Yod, right? Who? He can detect lies. That's why he said your words don't lie to me. Holy shit! <laughs> the guy that this degenerate. But head rank eight. Other than Kaligo's rank eight, did I miss that? Kaligo's rank eight too, right? Ameri, we haven't seen Ameri in a long time. Ever since we did a little wall bang, you know, to Ameri, and she got our heart toki toki. We haven't seen her since then. No, no, Iruma did go apologize to Amiri afterwards. Oh, look at her always thinking about Iruma. Oh, gonna be an Amiri episode. Gonna have a little date session. We haven't done the shoujo manga date in a while.
No more hell gray tea. That's the only tea we ever drank here. Uh, wait, that's not you, Clara. Why? For the because he's at the party instead. What's what's going on? Where is Yuma? We're doing karaoke. <laughs> Wait, this is the opening theme for season one. <laughs> oh, it's a season two. I forget. This is the opening theme though. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Where is Yuma? Azaz doesn't look too happy about this. The screeching room, aka the karaoke room. So we're still celebrating. So I guess Clara wants to say. I, I think this is an exception. I think we do have to spend some time with our group. This, I, I want to spend time with Amini, but. Oh, look at her. Look at her get jealous, but I think it's important to celebrate with the misfits right now. We brought the misfit girls. Girls' time! Okay. Ah, uh, the girls didn't join the karaoke, so. But why did Clara bring Amity? Because Amity will be left out? Because of Iruma? I, okay, sure. <laughs> Interesting dynamic. What kind of tea is this? Is it really just normal herbal tea? Or. What if there's something spiked in here and, and people start, like, telling the truth? Yeah, the way your hair curls is nuts. Like, it goes down and spikes up. <laughs> That's. Wow. Top shelf shampoo. Yeah, her hair is nuts. Look at that thing. I must touch it. I don't shower. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah. That sounds just like Clara. Yep, sounds just like Clara. What's conditioner? Yep, more soap. Soap. Mm -hmm. Soap. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yep. All in one, baby. <laughs> oh, Clara. That's just like Clara. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it gets the job done, but... It's, I guess it's not very feminine. This is more like what guys do, you know? They get like a... <laughs> all in one wash and just wash everything by themselves. What is it? Oh, Irumi! <laughs> Oh, we're doing that song again. <laughs> Hold up. Doesn't this look like a certain dem doll that we haven't seen in a long time? Hmm. You know that dual performance with Kurumu? I bet Irumi will come back one day. I also want Irumin to come back too. And would it be crazy if like Irumin, Evil Cycle Iruma was doing Irumi? Like in that like idle cross-dressing? Because the contrast between that cool Irumin and Irumi... Combined, that would be nuts. Oh, Clara. Yes, but it's not love. That's more friendship, I feel like. Ah, uh, Midi, come on. This creature, yes, yes. But she's. Aww. She's a childhood friend. Yeah, she's a girl. Did you just realize? Did you just realize? Don't worry, because Clara is, I think, out of the contending ship. It's... Clara doesn't even realize if she likes Iruma romantically. It's just a friend. Yeah. There's nothing about love here. It's just about playing, you know, that's it. Hirori! Mm, is she? I mean, it is the one person that knows about her secret and can depend on. Hirori acts Iruma too, huh? First the woman. He's not trying to be a womanizer! What did she do to Yuma in the first time? She like, like she was like grabbing his face and doing like. I like that ship a bit. Sabro and Clara. I kind of like that. Yes, but Clara, you don't understand what the difference between like and love is, though. She just throwing it on like exactly, exactly. What's koi? Hmm. Mm, sure, why not? That's what she would probably say. Or would she get embarrassed? Have you thought about it? Finally, she's thinking about it. What do you... Now she's getting embarrassed. Oh. 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 Maybe. Maybe. But this creature. That damn womanizer. Mm-hmm. 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 
Oh, her ear. Oh, you can see their baby. Not at all. She's quite the softy. <gasps> I'm not on duty calling by my first name. <gasps> Ameri-chan! Lady. Whoa. Her nickname changed again. Oh, more friends. This is nice. All right, we got a girl squad though, huh? We got the Misfit Girls plus somebody. Maybe this will be a reoccurring thing in the future. <gasps> the main guy has appeared. Uh... How come everybody else is here? Hmm? Oh, they're kicking him out? I thought they'd be welcoming him. You womanizer! And that's another episode of Irumakun. A little bit. Okay, we're not. Com we're now. We're done with the studying arc. We've gotten rid of everything. You know, we're doing the intermission. The downtime is over. Real arc. Get into it now. I guess the most interesting thing here was distinguishing between like and love for Clara. She did when she thought about marriage. She was like, maybe, maybe. So she's not out of the competition. But come on. Come on, we saw Mary declare her love for Iruma. It's her ambition now. It's it's over. I've given up. I'm not gonna get my heart broken by wanting Claire to go also get into competition. Because I like Amiri and Iruma. I would rather Claire and Saro. I think that's a nice one too. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube logo push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.